Sir John O'Reilly, welcome to the University of Huddersfield. Thank you, it's a real pleasure to be here. One of the main criteria of the REF is impact. Impact is very easy to measure once it's been done, but for academics who are applying for grants, how, how would you advise them to talk about impact from, from the outset uh, when they're, they're aiming a, a, at something they're not fully sure what they're going to explore? Well, I think that's questionable. I think they know what they're going to explore. What they don't know is what's going, going to come out of that exploration, which is, I think, where we, we go to on this. And I think anyone who's launching out on a research project, they've got an idea of where they want to go. They may not know it in full detail, but they have an aim in mind as to what may come. And I think that's what I mostly, in the first instance, that's what I mean by impact. Now, you can take it further, and in some areas I recognise that's much easier than others. Uh, originally I was an engineer and it's probably easier if you're in the hard end of engineering. Uh, I recognise that in some other areas less so. But let's just think about impact. It can take many forms. So we might be able to talk, talk of it in terms of this is the transformational difference it's likely to make to this industry. That's big and sometimes you can like that. In other areas you might say this is the difference that I'm going to make to my subject area which is of itself important but my most measurable part of it will be in that area. So I think there's a spectrum of ways of looking at it. And it, it, is it possible for impact to change? I mean, you may start out uh, heading in this direction. Is it acceptable, in other words, for that impact to, to change and move in another? Yes, I think that's, yeah, that's cool. a very, very fair point to raise. It's in the nature of research, isn't it? It's a voyage of discovery. Uh, and whilst you may have aims and aspirations, sometimes along the way, you find something that's really, really important that uh, changes the precise nature of the impact. And I, th I think the research councils that, that are one of the sources of funding would, would both recognise, respect and indeed welcome that. Um, it can be more difficult if you're working very closely with industry and then you see an interesting opportunity that isn't on their track. And that's where having multiple funding sources, multiple funding streams can be, be helpful because you may not pursue it within that particular project, but it's the idea for another one. I believe this is uh, one of your first visits to the University of Huddersfield. It is, yes. What were your thoughts? Oh, well, I think it's very impressive. I have been here once before, but it was a very long time ago and before it was called a university. Um, it's transformed and I think by the look of it, it's transformed in very recent years. Um, it's an impressive campus. I should think anyone here is proud to be working here. It has that feel about it. The other thing, and that's in a sense the campus and the buildings and the spirit, I and mean, it was very good to see the international events that were going on downstairs. But then there's something else. There's the nature of the enterprise itself. Uh, and that goes back to our first question around impact. This is clearly a university that as a corporate body gets the importance of that. I saw some really, really exciting and important fundamental research. I saw a real commitment to taking that forward to the point where it made a difference to people, to the economy and society. And my feeling is that's part of what characterises this university. It wants to make a difference in the world in that way. And I, I was just blown away to see that. Wonderful visit. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.